VR has been around for quite a while at this point. We have seen many great multiplayer games and many multiplayer games since downfall over the years. I have tried most of the multiplayer shooters on the platform and while they are all good in their own terms, there are only a handful of games that make me come back every time. One of those games is Ghost of Tabor and I'll explain in this video why this game is so well received and how it won the VR Awards Game of the Year. playing Tarkov back a few years ago in its prime, I was absolutely in love with the concept of getting in a map, looting everything and trying to make it out, all while risking to lose everything due to a random headshot. Tarkov felt fair even when fighting against a kitted out player because even the weakest pistol in the game could one shot that kitted player with a well placed bullet and get all his loot. Yeah, I killed him! Oh my god, what? Is this gun? What? <gasps> That's a fully modded AK. What the hell? The game had a lot of flaws, but the concept was so unique and original and fun that everybody kept playing it. At the same time, I was in love with VR. I had discovered survival games like Into the Radius and Green Hell VR because I love managing my resources and loot stuff. But also, I love going deep into an abandoned Soviet city or deep into a jungle full of threats. It gives you a thrill of exploring the unknown, of exploring something new. That's how Into the Radius became one of the best VR games of all time. It gave you a fear of the unknown. I later searched everywhere for a game that is like Tarkov but in VR, but all I got were half answers. Some suggested Survive, which is nothing like it, and some suggested Into the Radius, which has similar mechanics, but is definitely not like Tarkov. There was simply nothing like Tarkov in VR, since Tarkov was already a niche game, and VR is even nicher than that. The closest I got to finding Tarkov in VR up until that point was Escape from Pavlov, which is a custom map for Pavlov that has extraction shooter elements, and it is pretty good, not gonna lie, but still far from what Tarkov is. So when I heard about Ghost of Tabor, I was hyped. Yet I was skeptical because I knew how hard it would be to pull it off and I was scared that it would die in just a few weeks. And I am so glad I was wrong. This is currently the most played VR shooter on Steam VR and one of the biggest on the quest as well I'd assume. This game has more players than the previous multiplayer king Pavlov and that by a long mile. When it came out I wasn't able to play it since I only had the PSVR 2, having recently sold my quest 2 so I had to wait until the end of the year. But I bought a quest 3 recently and tried it anyway. But at release I heard from my friend Nilsen Man that it wasn't in good condition at first, especially on the quest 2 it was un playable due to frame rate dips. It was really janky and the gunplay is honestly still not good. It has a lot of bugs and a lot of things to polish. Yet everybody including me sees past that and loves this game. Why is that you may think? It's because a VR shooter is finally attempting something new for once. It's that simple. Combat Waffle Studios saw Tarkov, they also saw VR. And they saw the gap between those two. Just like I did. The difference is they actually worked on a game and absolutely nailed the extraction shooter aspect of it. So even with the flaws, it's a fantastic game and absolutely a unique experience you will not get from any other VR game. The fear of the unknown and the fear of losing your gear is there and it's present like in no other VR game. Into the Radius actually does everything better than Tabor on paper, but Tabor is multiplayer and it actually gives you a different kind of adrenaline fighting against other players for your loot. And that loot is gone if you die, forever except if you insure it, which gives you a chance of retrieving it, but you have to pay in-game money for it, so it's another risk to take. You may want to use that money to buy other gear instead. And I actually think Tabor, despite its flaws, and obviously not being a finished game, has a few things that it does better than Escape from Tarkov itself. First, seeing your extraction points with a compass is great. It helps new players like me immensely without having to look at a map on the internet. I think Tarkov's biggest game design flaw is that there is no way of looking where the extracts are. You're just giving a name 
and you have to go find it, good luck, with a limited time at that. And while some people say it's part of the game, I disagree. It's not making the game more fun or more challenging, it just makes the game tedious and annoying, and that's not in a good way. Second, I haven't done much research on this, but based on my experience so far, AI seeing through foliage isn't as bad in Tabor as it is in Tarkov, where scavs just straight up snipe you through bushes. Overall, I think that Combat Waffle Studios are off to a great start. They have a very solid player base that will play the game no matter the state of it, and fans that will support them towards making the game better. They are constantly updating the game and I wish them luck on making the best and only extraction shooter VR has to offer. Let me prove my point that Tabor is truly something unique. Let's go. As you can see, I'm about to go on a raid with a Makarov and some gear of mine. Let's get away. No scav there, that's good. Gun is not unsafe. Yeah, we could honestly check that little uh, area for any loot. I killed him. We both missed like everything though. Got him with my last bullet. We got a crate here with a sight. Now it'd be what? The? It'd be very nice. If you can't. I think it's like a World War Two, World War One type gun. Oh, I'll take this. Nice! Oh my god. Ideally, I make it to the beach with both. I'm going to the beach and I ain't looking back. I find a lot of loot. An AK-74 and an MP5 and I try to take those to the extract near me on the beach. While going to the extract and avoiding the mines, I suddenly get sniped from somewhere I can't even see. Oh shit, I'm getting shot at. Oh, I'm getting shot at from behind. Oh. No. I looked everywhere, but I couldn't really see the guy sniping me, so I had to hide behind a rock. And there was another player in front of me that I had to take out while healing myself from being sniped. Oh. I took out the dude. Oh, what? I just hope he doesn't hit me. Okay, he hit me. And then I even died myself because the dude actually managed to snipe me. So I lost all my gear plus the AK and the MP5 I found. So now I was left with no backpack in my base, nothing to really go on a raid. Well, I actually had tactical gears, but I didn't want to use them because I was upset. So I picked up a Ruger just a single pistol with a single magazine and went into a raid. Nothing else. I didn't have any meds, I didn't have a tactical rig, no protection, I only had a Ruger with a single magazine and I had to make it count. I spawned near the lighthouse and I went up the lighthouse. Oh, oh sh Bro, AI got the best aim in the world. Okay, I have to hit every shot. I think I don't bleed. I, th I think I shot twice. I gotta get to that rock. Okay, got him. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. I hope that was the only AI in that building. There was a scav near the lighthouse that I had to take out with this one mag, otherwise I was screwed. And I did it. Then I went into the lighthouse and guess what? I found an AK-74 and I found the MP5. Exactly the guns I lost last round. Then I made my way to the nearest extract, this time it was the docks, and there was another player on a tower in the military camp, and I took him out. I think I got him. I saw him jump, I think he died to bleeding out. I hope he died to bleeding out. 
He actually didn't die to my bullet, but due to bleeding because I hit him in the chest, I think. Then I also found gas and I really wanted to take that gas with me because my generator didn't have fuel back at the base. So I did. I saw a guy and I was really, really skeptical of actually going to the docks. And I heard some shots to the right of the docks in a building, but I still risked it and ran. There was a scaff and I quickly took him out. And then I ran to the extract. Yes! And I actually made it out with all the stuff I found. That is how the tides can turn in this game. You may lose stuff in one raid, but get rich in the other. It's such an awesome thing. And Into the Radius can't do this because it's a single player game. But Tabor benefits of being a life service multiplayer game, giving you these intense moments. And that's why everybody loves it so much. And that's why Tarkov is loved so much. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe and like, please. I'm a small YouTuber. Subscribe and like if you like this video. If you didn't, then dislike. And I'll see you in my next video.